Inflammatory breast cancer is one of the worst forms of breast cancer. In my case, I have a terminal diagnosis. I went to see this world-renowned oncologist. He said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a mastectomy. We're going to do chemotherapy, radiation, and then we're going to go back and do the most intense chemotherapy again. He said, we're going to fight, fight, fight. He said, this is what I do for all my patients. He never asked me what I wanted out of the treatment. It didn't make any sense. I mean, I would have done all of those things. But, you know, I asked him, is it going to give me any benefit down the road? And even he said, you know, it's going to be the same outcome. Why would I do that to myself? Right now, the paradigm in oncology and in other areas of healthcare too is to attack the disease. And because of that, sometimes a patient is a bystander. Patient centered communication is really understanding the individual who's in front of you. What, what are their needs? What are their preferences? Who is that individual at the core? So it's really melding the science that's coming down the road of looking at the key factors within the tumor, but as, or even more importantly, looking at that patient in front of you and making a treatment decision for that individual. I am being treated for cancer. I take one pill at night called Femera, which depletes the hormones that I have in my body. And then once a month I go and I have an infusion to keep my bones strong. But I also have palliative care. Since I have a chronic disease, palliative care helps me throughout this disease as it gets worse, as I begin to feel worse. And that is going to happen. And palliative care will be right there with me, helping me feel well.